running just a tad bit late. Wednesdays are not secure. Sometimes we have Feed the People with CJI, so I do want to apologize for getting on late. Um, make sure you like. You share, you subscribe, go to Vibes Radio Station right now and share this live with somebody. Share it with a friend, a friend, tag a friend, and make sure y'all go to um, YouTube, subscribe to um, Vibes Radio Station and The Real Lala's Closet. Y'all, I have some special things for y'all today, so I just want to get into some good prayer and then we're going to get started. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we humbly come before you declaring that you are a good, good father. You are awesome. You are incredible. We just thank you for continuing to be everything that you are and do the things that you do, Lord God. Lord, we just ask that you continue to have your way. We ask that you touch prayer call with Shalanda and Vibes Radio Station, that you will use it for the uplifting of your kingdom. Lord, I know this is a prayer that is as constantly pray, but Lord, I will continue to pray this. I will continue to lift you up. I will continue to honor you with this show. And I thank you for our guests on today. I pray that you would use them. I pray that you would increase their videos, whatever their, their, their business ventures, their podcast, their films, whatever it is that they're doing, Lord God, I pray that you will expand it and whatever they put forth their hands to do, that it will prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen, y'all. So we're going to get right into it. I'm a little discombobulated because y'all know I like to, you know, share my shows and stuff, but I'm running a little late today. So y'all know I'm, I'm, I'm working it out over here. But I'm going to start out with some shout outs. Yes, y'all. I'm trying to work it out, get it together. Okay. Let me turn this light up a little bit so y'all can see me. So my shout outs for today is Miss Nicole Thomas, y'all. Um, you can find her on Facebook, um, Nicole Thomas, or you can find her on um, Instagram, which is Nicole underscore Denise. And you can go to her website, Nicole Makeup as... Um, as me.com so yes that is nicole and she's gonna be on here soon so y'all gonna get to chat with miss nicole and um get some goodness from her okay and then going forward i want to give a great shout out to our old friend um somebody i went to school with for years upon years graduated with we went our separate lives, you know, separate ways. And um, once we graduated from high school and stuff, doing amazing things. Brian Fowler, y'all, I am so, so, so proud of him. I follow him. Um, yeah, he is doing amazing things. He is in school to become a doctor. And, and, and he's not just in school becoming a doctor. He's becoming more than that because he's, he's educating us as he, be, as he becomes, um, you know, he's giving us great advice as women. Um, he has been working in the labor, um, and delivery and he's been letting us know you know the risk and you know different things and stuff like that so we thank you for educating us brian fowler we thank you so much for everything that you do and as you become we're with you we're praying for you we're we're pushing you and 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 we're inspired by your greatness that's some black excellence for y'all okay so that is brian fowler I'm sorry, y'all, y'all know, y'all know what I'm doing. I am sharing. Make sure y'all share, 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 get it out. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. I know this might be a little bit unprofessional, but until I get my team all together, this is just what it is. I'm just going to do what I do until, um, God do what he do, you heard? <laughs> okay, today in Black history on April 7, 1712, 
Um, a coalition of enslaved Black people in New York City set fire to a building in the city center and launched a, a revolt. Um, they were armed with knives and guns. They attacked the white people who came to fight um, and, and, uh, and, and fire, killing uh, nine to seven people. And uh, during the early 18th century in New York, this was during the nerf, the this was during the early 18th 18th centuries in New York City. They had a large enslaved population, and the city, the city's white residents feared the threat of rebellion. Um, enslaved people in New York City suffered um, this brutality and punishments and methods of control. And they were just fed up. Um, the labor demands of urban life, however, require enslaved people to move frequently throughout the city to complete tasks, giving them greater freedom of movement and more opportunity to communicate with other enslaved people. And, you know, they this was a, a, a rebellious movement from people who were in New York City and they were fed up, they were tired, they fought back. But honestly, in the end, we can't say that they won because there were a lot of um, African-Americans who were, if they did not kill, they, they killed themselves from this situation because after the whole situation went down, they were hunting them, looking for them, killing them, the white people. And, um, and, so the people that were still alive after these um, this movement, they either killed themselves or when they got caught, they were hung. So this demonstration kind of backfired um, at the end of the day because you know a lot of people lost their lives behind this. But I understand the fight. I understand, you know, because that's what we're continuing to go through today. Like, we're continuing to fight for freedom. And we don't want to be enslaved. We we want we want equal um, opportunity, equal, equal rights. You know what I'm saying? We want equal placement. You know what I'm saying? Just because the color of my skin. I'm tired of hearing the first Black, the first Black, the first Black. Like, we need to really, you know, step up our game in that. Oh, I'm going to try to slow down a little bit, y'all, because me starting late, I just get a little bit discombobulated. So we're going to move right along to gospel media and why I choose to put this in gospel media, because this man has been on a spiritual journey. He has been trying to find himself and find God and cleanse his soul and right now he is facing some hard times, DMX. So we want to keep him in our prayers. We want to keep him lifted up. And, you know, I've just been blasting his music. i just been, you know, keeping his spirit alive. Because, you know, the media is, is tricky. You hear one thing, everybody posting it, everybody believe it. So we've already heard that DMX is dead. We heard that he was... Um, it was an overdose, which I don't believe that it was an overdose. It has been that he uh, has been um, stated that he had a heart attack. And I believe that's what it was, that he had a heart attack. So, you know, we can't believe everything that we hear. But yes, DMX, we love you. We're praying for you. We're keeping you lifted in this time. I know it's so many people that, you know, could be affected by this because this man was a great influence despite of you know his hard times in his life which we all have um so yeah a great man all right y'all so we have a special guest coming through right now um i don't know if i'm saying his name right i feel like i keep messing it up hashua D Wood is his name and he has a podcast. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let him introduce himself and tell everybody who he is. And I, I'm just I'm I'm bad with names. So I'm gonna let him tell y'all what his name is. Hello. 
Y'all can hear me? Y'all hear me? I can hear I'm, you. <laughs> How you doing up? today? I'm all right. I'm all right. Fine. Fine. That's Fine. good. You look good. You look good. I sound good. Loud, so loud, yeah, loud. it's good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today on Prayer Call with Shalanda. I really, really appreciate it. Tell everybody what your name is and what you do. All right. Uh, uh, I'm Melo Haas. All right. I'm an entrepreneur. Uh, entrepreneur. Uh, entrepreneur. entrepreneur. Um, um, I do I anything do that comes come to my mind, my mind and how I do it is I, I try, to try to keep everything in circulation, everything in circulation with, with myself and myself, my brand my or what, brand, what I'm what trying what to, I'm you know, trying aim, to aim and make my point when it comes to the business field. So, so, for example, uh, I, make uh, I make hats. I just dropped I my, just my Mellow Haas podcast hat, hat collection. Uh, I also uh, make also soda pop, soda or pop I'm in the process of making my own soda pop brand. I'm just still trying to formulate the formulas, formulas and I'm making it organic, organic as, possible. as possible so, so all that toxins, that toxins I'm, really I'm really getting rid of all that I'm trying to add some healthy, healthy alternative substitutes so, so stay tuned stay for that tuned I'm not that. really trying I'm to promote that promote because that it's still developing but it. I just want to keep just that in everybody's mind and whatever, mind, like, whatever that will like that will be releasing. Um, um, I do YouTube, YouTube videos, videos and just and try to just you try know, to know maintain my maintain social media because you know, you know I kind of got a bit of it also when it comes to limiting myself being on social media. So I kind of still trying to balance that out. But I know that's the key to building a good, um, successful brand. But but I'm starting small, I'm starting small and I'm building and up, I'm you know, I'm, I'm, aiming, I'm to aiming to own a lot of uh, uh, East State uh, and a lot of businesses and, of businesses and eventually just and become an investor and just invest in developing, developing businesses. Business. So, yeah. So, yeah. Awesome. Podcast, that is incredible. <laughs> in the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, podcast. Right. I was like, what about the podcast? <laughs> yeah. Mellow House yeah, podcast. podcast. Check it out. Check it out. Uh, I've been doing that. Doing that. Like for, like for a year and a half year now, going, a half on now. Going, on going on two years. Going, I think the anniversary, anniversary Facebook, Facebook just showed me, showed me the anniversary. I think I started back in January. So, uh, yeah, about yeah, a good year, a year, year, now. year this now. This is like this my most like consistent, my consistent just hustle just in hustle. business. So, yeah. Okay, that's what's up. I mm -hmm. love it. What is your motive for your podcast? Um, um I kind of came up with the idea just because. because uh, I don't know anybody who listened to Kid Cudi, like my idol. Um, Kid Cudi, he kind of, you know, made his image or his his stage self or his stage name. He made himself iconic by, you know, in, in, implementing that loner type of vibe, that, you know, emotional type of guy in his music. He felt like he don't always relate to people. He always feel like he that outsider. I mean, you know, over time, he his new music kind of, like, Develop more, he's more mature now. He he in he in his peace. He at his, his best place. So that's my goal too. You know, um, teenage years, I went through a lot of stuff, and I kind of like, you know, uh, he he kind of helped me through a lot of my emotions and depression and stuff. So that being said, I'm into music and I'm into intricate sound because that's what he implemented in his music. He don't always have that type of sound you hear on the radio. That high fast tempo. Because you know, because sound and vibrations, sound vibrations, you know, you know, we you know, kind of relate to that, to that uh, uh, naturally. Uh, naturally. So we can it, it kind of amplifies our emotions. So I, I'm, I'm kind of want to get more docile and all that stuff. So you know, my music taste played a part in it, also my mindset. So it's kind of like a self documentary when it comes to my podcast and the music. So yeah, that's what, that's really what started. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome, y'all. Please tell me if there's still an echo, y'all. I'm sorry. Um, that is awesome. I think that is incredible. You were inspired and you made something happen out of it. Yeah. Um, and continuing to strive to, you know, implement who you are into this world. You yeah. know, people will always remember by remember you by, you know, the I believe that you you are supposed to leave a stamp on this earth. So Very you know, true. people are encouraged and uplifted by those type of things. And mm -hmm. it, it seems that you have been encouraged by someone 
and paying attention. I'm yeah. really, I just want to let you know that I'm really proud of you and everything that you're doing. Keep doing mm. what you're doing because I'm watching. If I'm watching, somebody else <laughs> is watching. watching okay. Because <laughs> right, right. I, you know, I've seen you on Facebook. I really didn't quite know who you were. And mm. then when I met you in, in person, I'm like, oh, okay. You know, mm. I never had met you in person. So, you know, you talking to you and, and getting to know you and stuff like that. I just thought that your energy was amazing. So mm -hmm. I just went on and I'm like, yeah, I got to get him right. on here right. Right. And, and promote who you are and what you yeah. do. And I'm thankful for your part and what you do. So mm -hmm. keep going. Mm -hmm. That drink idea. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. <right? laughs> awesome. Thank you. Thank awesome. You. Yeah. Can you tell everybody where they can get your hats from? Mm -hmm. um, um right now right i'm now, selling these hats locally um the uh, online uh development in my own website will be uh, later announced so uh be patient for that but y'all can hit me directly on my facebook which is hashua d wood or you can hit me on instagram which is aboriginal underscore hash or you can add my um business page on facebook which is mellow mellow hosh podcast and you can also add my business page on instagram which is mellow hosh podcast also so it's all of that social media if you want to direct contact with me and i will deliver these hats to you i have the uh trucker hats i have the regular uh dad hats i have different flavors um i have the black i have the blue you know, black and gold, black, gold, <laughs> black and white. Black, yeah, white. so I have, uh, I have quite a few uh, flavors, flavors, you know, for right now. So, yeah. Yep. Awesome. Thank you so much for that. Um, I just wanted to get you on, show everybody what you have and who you are. Y'all yeah. go to his page, listen to his podcast, support him, get a hat, su support the cause, y'all. There is a cause behind yeah. it. So y'all make sure y'all do that. I will make sure I post another post after um, prayer call with Shalanda to give more information and for y'all to go to and check him out and make sure y'all listen. Um, When your podcast come on, just uh, send it to my... um. My inbox. So when it's on, I know when it's on. Do you have a specific day that you play your podcast? Yeah, uh, yeah every uh, Sunday. Every I've been kind of getting inconsistent with it because I've done made a moving transition and I'm a father, so my kids. But yeah, um, my latest episode was you know uh, um, about about two weeks ago on on Wednesday. I had my first interview, so I try to keep it consistent with every Sunday. I actually. Lost. You went out. Said, um, um, I just ordered a new mic stand, so I'm coming back around to the consistency of, you know, my podcast every week. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Awesome. Well, keep going. I'm I'm clapping for you. I'm motivated and I'm inspired. So keep doing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. excited for your drink to come out keep pressing through um and we're definitely going to check you out yeah. when that comes out so yeah. we'll see you again right <laughs> on prayer yeah. call with shalanda for sure, for sure. okay for sure. Yeah. all right thank y'all so much tell us who you are again before you um thank you so much tell us who you are again before you leave all right uh, i'm mellow hosh once again uh entrepreneur podcaster soda pop maker uh just a businessman all around so check me out on facebook at uh uh, uh hoshua d wood instagram aboriginal underscore hosh uh also instagram my business page mellow hosh podcast and my business page on facebook mellow hosh podcast so check me out all right, all right. thank you very much <laughs> see you later all right peace all right. <laughs> All right, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed him. I'm sorry, y'all, that it was a little, um, I hear that it was some, it was an echo or a backlash. I'm sorry, y'all, about that. Um, we're going to try to make sure we have those situations secured so y'all can hear us. Y'all, tell me how y'all doing. I see I got five viewers right now. Somebody tell me how you're doing, if you're doing well. If you're not doing well, if you need some prayer, if you just need some encouraging words, let me know. All right, y'all. 
So I do have someone else that I'm getting ready to um bring in. Actually, let's see, 20 minutes. Um let's see. Can we go to uh Paul Pierce? I don't know if we could um let me know. Okay, y'all. So did y'all hear about this? Paul Pierce is an NBA player who is a great NBA player, a legend, but he was fired from the NBA because he had a party and he had strippers and he looked to be a little high or whatever, which who cares? I have been following mad people from the NBA and forever i have seen plenty of these players live at strip clubs and doing all sorts of stuff lying cheating are you kidding me they're talking about that this is not what the nba represents this is a grown man who makes plenty of money then we're talking about oh and he's a married man so what this does not have nothing to do with nobody but her and that's up to her to decide whether or not she's okay with her husband doing this i'm flabbergasted i'm appalled i am by the nba like come on y'all we gotta do better the time that we're in this is the wrong time for the nba to be doing some mess like this y'all this is just messy unnecessary and it's already hard out here for us and i'm not trying to make excuses and i'm not trying to yet yeah, I'm, I'm gonna continue to boost up the black man I'm going to, because at the end of the day, it's a lot of people that's out here not doing nothing or not handling their responsibilities and stuff. We, you, This man lost his job because he was having fun with his own money and he wanted to go live on his own page. I'm in, I'm, I'm, I'm in total disagreement with the NBA. Come on now. Come on now. Yeah, Aaliyah, they are wrong for firing him. Like, I just don't understand. This man is he 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 is a legend. He's been playing basketball for a long, long time. A great basketball player. And y'all gonna take him away from these children because he's a he's an inspiration to these children. Okay. He inspired these kids to be great. So why take this man out of the NBA? Because he decided that he wanted to go live and do whatever he wanted to do in in his um airbnb or whatever he was in <laughs> who knows but i i'm just in total disagreement and i do think that this is the wrong time and i do think that the nba needs to do better because i mean it's not like he killed nobody it's not like he harmed anybody it's not like he talked about the nba in the wrong way or something it's just it's uncalled for but We'll be right back after this, y'all, because we have another guest. So y'all stay tuned. If you're just tuning in, this is Prayer Call with Shalanda. What's up, y'all? It's Prayer Call with Shalanda. Welcome back to Prayer Call with Shalanda. Make sure you like, you share, you comment. Tell me something. Tell me you're doing good. Interact with me. And make sure you go to YouTube and subscribe to Vibes Radio Station and The Real Lala Jones, y'all. All right, y'all. We get ready to bring in a very special guest. Her name is Nicole Levin. And I want her to... Um, tell you all about um, her great um, ventures that 
uh, she is um, doing in the city of Rochester, New York. Hi! Your mic is off. I can't hear you. Oh, no, I can't hear you still. No. No. I can read your lips. Ah, I got the nerve to have a cold right now, y'all. Did y'all hear that Shalanda when I just went out? Like, it was horrible. I have the nerve to have a little head cold. My head hurts. This light is blinding me. He said you have to turn your mic up. Sorry, y'all, for the inconvenience. We are, um, I don't know why we can't hear her, but she'll be right in. Um, if you want to, you can go out. If he said your volume is down on your phone. Try to go out and come back in. Log all the way out and come back in. Sorry, y'all. We're having some sound issues, but it's all good. We're going to continue to go on. Um, we haven't really had sound issues in a while, but yeah, y'all, I got a cold. Why I got a cold? Why I got to <clears throat> be feeling like this? But I've been moving around trying to fight it, trying to continue, you know, because you know how you get a cold and you just tired and you just want to lay around all day and do nothing uh that is how i feel hey can you hear me now, can you hear me now? i hear you oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try to how are you like today that. i'm doing good i'm, I'm doing good, good, good darling it's nicole Laval. <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> anyway yes this is Yvonne, y'all and she she is dope y'all she's hilarious She's I got sweet. My, I got She's my genuine. My yes, I wore mine last week. Y'all can tell she's from New York City, so it's Rochester, not Rochester. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yes, Nicole, thank you so much. Yes, y'all see that? That is her logo to her her sweaters that she is selling. There it is. There That's, there it is. Yes. So tell us about those sweaters, Nicole. Well, actually, they are uh, hoodies, and they come in all colors. They come in red, black, army green, white, uh, whatever color you desire, we can make it for you. Rochester, it's a film. It's a film directed and produced by myself. Uh, I lived here for about 14 years, seen uh, quite a bit of things happening, and um yeah, I'm doing a film. And by the way, I got to show you these cute little bags. Yes, people, if you want one of these cute bags, honey, you go to my website. Broad check them. These are cute totes. They're only $25. The sweatshirts I'm wearing are $40. Yes, yeah, so you're supporting the film. Okay, so let me repeat that for us brown people. You are supporting a film. I don't have a rich uncle, so this is what I'm doing to support my film. The bags are $25. They come in black. Oh, yes. And let me tell you, my mother got one. <laughs> she got hers in orange. Yes, she did. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm in the bathroom. I hope nobody has to use it. Yeah, they fresh me out. This is Rochester orange bag. These are tote bags. Only $25. They're great for the summertime. You carry your nice little toiletries, your little toothbrush, put it in there, and you go in about your breath. I mean, about your way. But your breath is clean. <laughs> There goes my little sales uh, uh, <laughs> for the film. And uh, yeah, so the film, I guess you want to know what I'm talking about, right? Okay. So, <laughs> <I get> to, <laughs> tell us about, tell us all about your film. Okay, so the okay. film 
is about uh, a few select people uh, from Rochester, New York. Uh, basically, I'm talking to Joe Prude and some other people that have been victimized by the Rochester Police Department. I also um, interview retired police officers. Uh, I don't want to be biased in the film, so I think that everybody should have a chance to speak and the voices should be heard. Uh, regardless of how I feel about the situation, that's the people's truth. And whatever the truth is, I think they should speak it. I've uh, been interviewing people from organizations like yourself uh, and um, also with Free the People. I'm supposed to be talking to Stanley Martin and uh, Ashley Gant. I haven't uh, scheduled her yet, but I'm, I've got quite a, a couple of interviews going. And with all that being said and done, I'm also trying to put together the healing aspect of it. I just don't want to talk about the victims and brutalizing and everything, but there's a healing mechanism. With all of this that's going on in the world today, I want to find a way to heal a city that's been de definitely been done wrong. Um, I don't want to harp on that Maya is a bad person. We already know what she is. You know what I'm saying? I don't need to reiterate that in my film. I think that my film will uh, play an important pivotal uh, part as far as media, because now everybody pulls out their phones. Uh, a lot of photographs and video were donated to me um, after I lost some of my footage from last year. So people have donated, literally donated uh, to help this film come along. Right now I'm in the stage of doing a trailer because I'm applying for some grants uh, because, you know, even though I wear this lovely shirt and everything and they're only $40 at my website, Uh <laughs> that I still need to apply for money to be able to get gas, be able to take the people to a breakfast dinner and be, you know, like I bought uh, two sweatshirts. The sweatshirts aren't cheap, I tell you. But I donated them to Mr. Prude and his wife. You know, the, um, the people in the film, and it gets cold up here in Rochester, and I can't afford to pay people for their time. So I'm trying to give what I can, and, uh, you know, hopefully that can help. With the Bay family, I, I'm, I'm doing other things behind the scenes. You know, like taking me and um, uh, the base daughter horseback riding, you know, because sometimes our kids get lost in the transition of what we're doing out here as, as far as being activists. So me as a mother, I definitely know that I have been lacking at home. <laughs> I said, well, let me get two two birds done with the same thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But anyway, <laughs> I figured that, you know, what happened? Just laughing. I was just oh, laughing. Okay. So, uh, so you, know, uh, you know, I figured we go. Oh dear, and it goes that back, back stuff. Uh, anyways, um, I figure I get uh, two birds done with the same stone. So, um, you know, as I'm taking my own daughter out there, also, you know, looking at the Bay's daughter, that you know, with the tragic trauma that she went through with the police officer, she's hurting inside. And I, I think a lot of times, as mothers and parents, sometimes we overlook. Our children are very strong, but in ways that they're very sensitive and they need our support. So, you know, with things like that, even though I'm doing a film, I got to take time out for other people and see how I can be a, um, a servant in their life. Even though I'm doing a film, it's also good to show action that you're not just doing a film, but you're doing, you know, doing what it takes. And a lot of people, they're about that bullshit. They talk about shit, but they don't really get shit done. And, you know, not saying that, hey, look at me and what I'm doing. I'm just saying that I put, you know, even though I'm putting my words out with the, the film and everything, I'm still behind. I'm still I'm still a warrior because I'm still doing the things that I need to do as a queen out there to bless other sisters, to help them, you know, to feel better. Because, you know, there's, there's a lot of trauma that comes with um, being beat by police officers. I know because I'm a survivor of police brutality. So I know that it's always good to just clear your mind, go horseback riding, swimming, sailing, whatever it takes to get your mind right. Because, you know, once your mind is gone, the mind is a terrible thing to waste, you know, so <laughs> unless you smoke it. But anyways, back at the ranch. Um, <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Is there any church people here? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, let's pray for me. Um, <laughs> thank you. Um, so that's about it. <laughs> I'm sorry I said too much. <laughs> no, you said enough, and that is awesome. So, y'all, what she is saying is that she is doing a film called Rochester, and it is um a a bunch of people that's from Rochester that does activism in the community, and and uh, their hands are in these issues, and they're right. actually right. doing things. And she's trying to get this message out, mm -hmm. and she's including Daniel Prude. And uh, and um uh, um, Naila, 
Naila Bay, the nine-year-old girl who was arrested oh, in right, right, right. by um the ten-year-old girl, sorry, that was arrested by um RPD out of their jurisdiction in the Rodakoy. Um and they put her in handcuffs in the back of her po the police car. Yeah, I'm mental health is really, really important. And that's one of the things I'm touching base with because you know, with everything I'm hearing, everything, I had to go horseback riding for myself. And I knew the way that I was feeling, my ancestors are saying, girl, you better go on and get on a horse, girl, because you need some time. <laughs> and sometimes we are oh, oh so quick to push it away and go, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll take time tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. And sometimes that tomorrow may never come. So, you know, it's always good to um, fulfill the things that you can while you're living, while you're breathing. You know what I'm saying? Because you never know if you, you're even going to make it to tomorrow. So that's one of the things I, I've dedicated myself since I turned 50. I'm 53 now. I'm looking good. Thank you. Black don't crack. Ow. Um, so <laughs> these poor people. Uh, I, hope, I hope there's not a lot of people watching because they really go, they gonna go in on me. <laughs> okay, but it's anyway, fine. Not, You're okay. Um, so uh yeah, so oh by the way, we's legal. Um, let's pray for it. Uh 420. Amen. Okay, so uh thank you so much nicole for coming and letting absolute, us know absolute. about what you're doing the work that you're doing in the community absolute. she's not just doing this film y'all she shows up to events she's supporting different people she's thank doing you. a lot of things and she's she's doing an awesome job with thank doing you. this y'all can go to www. Nicole um, Laban. Um, and Thank you so much. Order her. Y'all see it right there. Nicole Laban.com. <laughs> Go and order a hoodie and help her with this film. That's Get right. you a purse too. Did y'all see those purses? Get oh, you a purse. All right. Here they go. I'm in my bathroom. But I got the I got the bags, honey. They only $25. And then if you want to go with the summer lifestyle, we even have on the back, power concedes nothing without a demand. It never did and it never will. And that's up, Freddie D. So this is live from the ROC and the 585 and the place to be. We got Freddie D right here, little thing on the back. And then we got the Rochester with the fists up. That's right, Black Power, Wakanda forever, Shalanda forever. So anyways... <laughs> <laughs> And that's me. That's a wrap. I'm a fade to black, baby. <laughs> All right. Y'all, thank y'all so much for tuning in. Thank Nicole for coming through and giving us that information. And she's doing a great job. She's also interviewing me, y'all. And we already did the interview. We we're redoing it because it picked up a little wind. But it was amazing. She had great questions. And she, she allowed me to be myself and give the information that I need to give. As y'all can see, she is silly. She got jokes all day. She's fun to work with. She's fun to sit down with and talk to. She is amazing, y'all. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go to a quick commercial, quick little um, snippet again so I can get myself an order for um, what's next. If you're just tuning in, this is Prayer Call with Shalanda. Y'all, that's so weak. That don't even sound like I supposed to sound like, but I'm fighting through this, y'all. My head hurt, my head is spinning, but we getting through this. So we just gonna go out for just a second and we'll be right back after this, okay? Shalanda, and I am your host, Shalanda, and they also call me Lala, you know, but uh, we are moving along in 
uh, our topic is Rochester, New York. What is going on in Rochester? Y'all already know. I'm going to continue to talk about RPD. I'm going to continue to talk about these things that are happening in my community that are not right. I'm going to continue to bring this to the forefront. I'm going to continue to keep these things in light. I hope y'all enjoyed my guest and y'all got the um y'all got the information that was needed. Please go and support them. That is the purpose for this. This is may not look like the networking that you do, but this is my way of networking. This is my way of promoting. This is my way of putting people out there. So y'all make sure you go and check my guests out, okay? So, RPD is facing a federal lawsuit and mayor uh Warren 13 Wham News reported protesters and advocates for police reform in Rochester. They are filing a federal class action lawsuit against RPD, current and former city officials. So, if you ain't a cop no more, you still get sued. Ha! <laughs> and hundreds of member lawsuit enforcement and overclaim of excessive force, particularly against African American people, Black people, Latino people. This lawsuit, which is almost a hundred pages long, that is ridiculous. A lawsuit that is nearly a hundred pages long, RPD. You guys are fools. Like, geesh. Details, it's almost a hundred pages. Details of four decades, four decade narrative making the case that department employees use of force tactics that are inhuman <sighs> they're racist and just not functioning for a, a civilized society like you guys continue i i'm i'm i got the, i'm i'm sure at least one cop at least one cop from Rochester has to see prayer call wish a lot. They just know that it's all you guys are trifling. Y'all need help. Because four decades of abuse against black people, like, and then you can it gets worse. It's getting worse. But the thing is, now that we are really, really aware, this is a, a generation you just don't want to mess with. I guess we just a group. Of, 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 of young people that y'all just don't want to mess with. This is Free the People Rock that is doing this lawsuit and shout out to them because, hey, to me, it needs to be done. To me, this is the plan of action. To me, RPD needs to go down. And the fact that it mentioned former cops, not, you know, y'all don't get away with, y'all not getting away. Nobody's getting away with anything. Okay? Y'all all going down together. So I'm not mad at this lawsuit. I really think that this lawsuit needs to happen. And, you know, I think that Free the People Rock has made the right moves. Daniels Proves family has made the right moves to, to um, fight back. Because that's what it is. You know, people laughing. Oh, uh, they want. Oh, they want to defund the police. They want reform. They want. Uh, 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 but then it's murders. No. Yeah, we want reforms. We want def defund because at the end of the day, what you guys doing is uncalled for. There's too many incidents. It's like you know the 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 lady that was tackled by the police with her baby in her hands, and then they pepper spray her, and they try to say, "Oh, the baby wasn't nowhere near." Y'all ain't had no business tackling that lady. Rite Aid ain't had no business calling the police. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know if I mentioned it on the show, but Rite Aid did get pulled up on. Because we definitely pulled up on Rite Aid. We definitely let them know how we felt. We definitely let them know that they were wrong. We went right up into their store and talked to their employees, their staff, their managers, and let it be known. We are not going to sit back and let anybody Feed the police, feed them, feed our people to the police. You call 911 and they abuse our people, you are at fault too. Because you already know how RPD get down. You already know what they're doing to our people. 
you already know the abuse, the trauma, and everything that they've caused. So Rite Aid was a part of the problem. But trust me, it's been getting handled. Okay, y'all. So that was pretty much, you know, mostly what I have for y'all today. I do want to let y'all know that CJI is doing a Stop the Violence event on Sunday, April 18th at on Dewey Avenue, 1274 Dewey Avenue, Brothers and Sisters Barbershop, the same place that the Feed the People was at today at 2 p.m. on Sunday, Stop the Violence. Y'all, come through, stop through, get some literature, get educated. Let's have a conversation. Let's see what we can do to, to, to minimize the violence in our community, y'all. And if we come together, we're better as a people. We're definitely um, striving to be better as a people. So y'all stay up on CJI. Go join Community Justice Initiative right here on Facebook. You can find out what their what our events are. Today we did feed the people and we had so much food. They're probably still out there. I don't know if y'all seen my live that I posted. They're probably still out there. It was so much food. We made hot dogs and hamburgers. We had canned goods, rice and oranges and apples, bananas. Savage Chef, of course, we can't go without Savage Chef. And we had um, She's Catering, who is Tasha, who does amazing. She has some great uh, tuna salad and some rice out there. And she got this punch, y'all. Mm. It did my soul good. So, yeah, y'all make sure y'all, you know, support us and support the community because that's what it's all about, okay? And make sure you donate um something i mean if you just give a dollar you know what i'm saying our cash app is dollar sign cji everything helps it, none of the proceeds go to the pockets everything goes to the community y'all everything we don't pocket this money we have a treasurer who keeps track of our ends and outs promise all right y'all so also, I want to let y'all know that you can also go to Cash App or you can just DM me or um, however you can donate to Prayer Call um, with Shalanda Cash. My Cash App is dollar sign Prayer Call. I don't care how much it is, y'all, because I want to also implement Prayer Call with Shalanda and giving back. So any proceeds that is given to me, I donate to the community. Like today, I donated hamburgers and hot dogs to the community and buns and stuff like that so nothing is for me nothing is for my pockets I'm a community worker that's what I do all right y'all so nobody um oh Gloria hi Gloria I love Gloria hi love your truth I pray God expands your dreams and goals and give you more insight in all you do stay safe god bless same to you gloria thank you so much for your encouragement every wednesday um i'm listen you keep me going you keep me going i thank you so much you always give me kind words and you let me know that you're there and that's greatly appreciated y'all and i'm continuing to pray for you and your family and um i'm enjoying this so anybody have any prayer requests before I start praying? Anybody want to say, uh, Shalanda, pray for my mom, my, my aunt, my uncle, my family? Let me know now, because once I start praying, I'm not looking. I I, I do. I, I want to start praying with my eyes open, y'all. <laughs> Should I tell y'all that? Because I be praying with my eyes closed, and then when I open back up, I am blinded. And today, like right now, y'all, I just want to tell y'all how I feel. I probably shouldn't. It's so unprofessional, right? Uh, I'm hot. My head feels like it's this big. I'm stuffed up, like, and I'm just, I don't feel good. But no, it's not COVID. Don't even ask that question. It's not COVID. I don't have COVID. COVID can't have me, you heard? All right, nobody said anything, so I'm just going to get into prayer, and then we're going to be out. All right, y'all? Oh, Heavenly Father, we come to you as humbly as we know how, just saying thank you. 
just grateful for everything that you do and everything that you are. Lord, there's somebody that is on this live right now that did not ask for prayer, but I know that they may need it. So I ask, Lord God, right now that you would touch them where they need to be touched, Lord God, that you will provide for them where they need to be provided for. If you will provide a home, if, if that's what they need, if they need peace, if they need clarity, if they need understanding, I pray that you will provide just that, Lord God. Lord God, I pray that you can do an overnight miracle, Lord God, for whomever that person is. If, it, if it's a door that they need open, if it's security that they need, stability that they need. I pray that you will provide just that, Lord God. I pray that you would give um, nourishment to the bodies, Lord God. I pray that you will give holiness and righteousness and, and people will become in right standing with you and understand what righteousness is um, and knowing that having a relationship with you and communing with you is right standing with you. Lord, you are truly, truly amazing for there is no one like you. I pray for my mother on today that you would heal her body, that you would lift her up, that you would encourage her, that you would be with her every step of her life, that you would give her a uh, um, a sense of freedom, um, Lord God, wherever it is that she needs it, Lord God. And I just pray for our children. I pray that you would lift up the children in our city and my family um, and other families. Lord God, use these babies, build these babies up, make their names great, Lord God. Um, help them to communicate, Lord God, if they're having problems with their communication and 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 anything that they're having trouble with, if it's school, if it's their parents, if it's their friends, if it's whatever they're struggling with in their mind, Lord God, I pray that you would have your way. I just thank you, Lord God. I pray that you would heal my body and you would help me to feel better um, and bring down this head cold. Lord, I thank you for prayer call with Shalanda and Vibes Radio Station in collaboration and everything that is coming along with it. Thank you for teaching us and guiding us. Thank you, Lord God, because even though this is so hard and no one can see the roughness, I thank you for the strength to continue to press on, not just for me, but for all my peers all my sisters, all my cousins, all my aunts and uncles and nieces and nephews and, and friends and associates and people that I am connected to. I pray that everything that we put forth our hand to do, that it will prosper. Lord, you are worthy, you are mighty, you are magnificent. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Y'all, I am, I have to say, I feel like the hour always go by so fast, right? But I feel like today it is taking forever. And I have to say it's because I don't feel good. I don't feel good at all. So y'all pray for me. Excuse me. Keep me in your prayers that God will heal my body and help me to be 100% again. All right? You heard? I love y'all. Stay encouraged. Don't forget your why. Don't forget why you do what you do. Don't forget who you are. Don't forget who God called you to be. Do not forget your place in the ministry. Do not forget. No matter what your life looks like, no matter your downfalls, your low days, it doesn't matter. You have a place in the kingdom. You have a place in this life. You have a purpose in this life. And it's time to let your light shine and let it shine bright. Don't care about what other people have to say about you because they may not even be able to do the things that you can do. This is the thing that God has called you to do and step forth in it and run with it, okay? 
we're not going to care about other people's opinions and 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 how they view you you are great you are awesome you are beautiful you are chosen and this is your time now is your time thank y'all for tuning in this is prayer call with shalanda i'm not even gonna do it y'all i ain't even gonna play myself because i'm hurting okay i love y'all i pray that y'all have a blessed rest of the week and i will see y'all on wednesday at 6 30 right here on vibes radio station i am your host lala shalanda i'm prayer call with shalanda bye